is my name. I don't need a passport. I'm at Tabrizi. I'm originally from Iran. I was born there. I educated there as a chemical engineer. A chemical engineer. Then I moved to Japan for my master's degree in Osaka University. Uh, before I go further about this, I have to say that because my wife is a psychologist, she always telling me that the whole character of a human being is structured and she gets the shape from the childhood. When I was 13 years old, my father, I was coming from an almost wealthy family, and he, as an entrepreneur, owns an operation of the mining with more than 5,000 people working for him. And I was having a private car with the driver taking me to school every day. And one day I came back and I found out that my father was bankrupt. There was some political discussion between him and the prime minister at that time. Anyway, I noticed that, done. There is no private car, there is no private school, and uh, done. And uh, my father was not very educated, but very smart. And uh, we are six brothers and sisters, and I was the eldest one. Maybe at that time I didn't have other sisters, maybe we had three brothers. And at night he told me that, son, listen, I can tell you only one thing. Go and get a high education because nobody can rob it from you. This was the lesson I got from my father, where at the time that he was bankrupt. And I learned that I have to work hard to have a good education, and I try to do the same for my kids and for my grandkids here in Canada. Uh, we have about 35,000 megawatts of power, which is very important. And the labor force we are having age is about between 25% uh, of age. is about 6 million we have working force in Ontario. And the good that we know have 20 colleges and 24, 24 colleges and 20 public universities. Ontario is the largest sub-national automotive assembly in North America. In my own career, I'm exposed to many sectors of the economy, as the, it was mentioned before. Uh, I go to, specifically in the construction, we are the group of our company named Liberty Development. We are having, at this moment, over 2,500 high-risk condos under construction, at this moment in Toronto, in Morcom and uh, uh, Richmond Hill, 2,500. Therefore, you can imagine how many labor forces are involved in this type of the activity which we are having, which personally, I don't count too much on the construction. Construction has a, a nature which is different from other sector of industry. And we have to be very careful. It's not very promising because it could be easy like this. Uh, less demand than is finished, you know. Like many employers, I am dependent on the good trades people to get the job done. Finding good one has its always challenges. Some really good trade people are restricted from working here because of government policy, but that should improve with the new federal legislation. <coughs> Young people of the both gender could do well to consider trade career instead of purely academic jobs. University and colleges often bring a lot of depth without a full-time job to service the depth. Apprenticeship is often a smart move. Anyway, but how we do we train, hire and keep skilled trade work people? Europe, specifically Germany, is often presented as an example of how to do the trade right. Germany is the only country in the world to have Ministry of the Manpower. That is one of the reasons it's so successful. So Germany knows next 10 years, 15 years, what trade, what engineer, what doctor, on what capacity, in which part of Germany they need it. They invest on that and they get the best result. That's why they are having the most advanced economy and sophisticated and uh, solid among the EU, everybody read about that. This is one of the, because human resources is the most important thing. We could do the same in Canada, but needs to bring the element who are decision maker and uh, can have role like a private sector, government, and institution like here. These three should get together as a body to make the planning 
by the advice of the private sector, because private sector is the one can tell you where are we going. If you want me to, it seems that I'm going very much like this, but sorry. <laughs> uh, so what are the current trends in trade? According to Ontario provincial data, 35% of the projected jobs from 2008 to 2013 are filled by the occupation with extensive post-secondary, but less than university degree requirement. I got a figure that even a couple of years ago when the Kathleen Wynne was Minister of uh, Education, she's a very good friend of mine, and uh, I'm her writing, and uh, I asked, uh, Kathleen, how much is the cost per student in, in our province? She said about $10,000. I said, well, you know that table over there, I have a friend who has three Montessori private sector, and he charged about seven to $8,000, and he makes a couple of million dollars every year. I said, well, why don't you leave all this to the private sector to do that? You are not efficient. $10,000 per student from five years old up to 17 years old, while Montessori private sector give a better education than you, and it's only seven, $8,000. Something wrong. Then we go upper to universities, $33,000 is the cost as per the 2011 statistic. But $33,000 is the cost of a student in university. You send a guy, your son, to be, get a BA in X university without having any objective what job he wants to have. I'm a businessman, you know how many, every month at least I get requests from my friends that the kids are educated from the some major which I don't know why university is spending time for and money or taxpayer for this type of education. And the guy comes, do you need some administrator? He said, what's his urgent? Hey, I have studied about the, uh, some vegetable in South Africa. He said, good, your degree. But my job is engineering for like that. He said, don't worry, Mr. Tabuzi. Give an administration job to him. He said, guy, you have spent $150,000 of my tax, four years in university, and you owe I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars for whatever you have to pay. What type of investment it is? It's totally wrong. We have to be careful. It is just let them go into university and it's fine. We need to have, but the point is that first we have to give the op opportunity to those who have been invested by the third country. We brought them here. We educate them. Escape for change with the money of the government. We upgrade them. We solve the problem of egg and chicken, about Canadian experience, we give the certificate, but the guy doesn't have a job. Therefore, we have to find a way that to, to make an easy flow of information of demand and supply in the market, and not only just because one or two manufacturers claim that, okay, there is shortage. Yeah, about a year and a half ago, we, we suffered as a, as a, as a high-rise builder. The price increased about maybe 10, 15 percent in some sector of the construction because suddenly the demand went up. But we can absorb it, and it's not very important thing because this is a periodic time of the demand and supply for the construction. As I said, construction industry is totally different from the other type of manufacturing, and we could handle it. But now we have this, and we have to find a solution. But that's not enough, gentlemen and ladies. We need medium-sized industry. Medium-sized industry is the strength of the industry, small and the big. In 1978, I was in Japan. The Minister of Trade of Japan came to TV and said, guys, we are not going to support the big industry anymore. Because as soon as a crisis happened, you are on the shoulder of government. But medium-sized, because of, it's very important, I tell you, my experience I managed, because of human contacts, between the staff and the owner makes them to sit down and talk and reach to some compromise to pass this crisis. While an organization with 20,000 people who doesn't know who is the boss, who is the owner, there is no human relation. Therefore, they go to the government, okay, otherwise we do demonstration and the, which government in the democratic country can stand of 20,000 people demonstrating that we don't have a job? They give up and give the money to them, our money, tax money. While the medium size, it means that from 100 to 200, 300 is the strength of the economy. This is something we need in Canada and hope politicians will make attention to them. And with the support of the, having these colleges like here, have more trade people to be backbone of our industry. Thank you very much and good.